welcome to a new series of shots wherein I am going to cook in my mitti ka kadhai and make some delicious food. As you can see, the gas is right now on a low flame. I have added a little bit of a ring there so that my kadhai sits well. And look at the seasoning of this kadhai. I just kind of heated it without anything on highest flame and this black thing has formed um, I'm exactly forgetting what is the word for this but you need it in your mitti ka bartan okay this makes it really non-stick all right I've added some mustard oil there as you can see it's become nice and boiling hot now I'm gonna give it a tadka the tadka is going to be simple with a red chili just dried and some white mustard and once it has fluttered I'm gonna add some curry pata. we are making curry pata diye full kopi torkari now I know this is not really a very traditional recipe from Bengal but trust me this is a family favorite and I think you want to see it and there goes some cilantro When the tarka looks like that, I'm going to add my full kopi. Once your full kopi reaches this stage of color and it smells beautiful, that's the time I'm going to heat it with some salt, give it a cover and just cook it for some more time. So once you add the salt, the vegetable gives out a little bit of water and as you can see the color has deepened now. Now I'm going to add some potatoes and tomatoes and some masalas into it. Just like that. Give it a nice toss and we will be ready for the masalas to come in. Apart from the usual haldi, namak and lal mirch, I'm going to add a very special masala which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Now I have added my haldi, lal mirch and now that special masala which is a very simple masala as you can see I've been using this packet I really liked this Mangalore style masala which is called chicken sukha as you can see this is a packet I've been using for quite some time now and I think it is not very expensive also so if you can find it please do add a little bit of it like a teaspoon worth that's it and now I'm gonna mix everything together now I have added some coriander powder there about a teaspoon worth and one fourth of a teaspoon worth of garam masala powder now I'm gonna mix it well and add a little bit of boiling hot water okay now check this out this is how my end product will look but right now my vegetables are not cooked through right so I need to hit it with some warm water now I'm gonna give some warm water but not a lot okay not a lot because I don't want a very runny consistency for this torkari. Okay, so I've added just a little bit of water, it's already boiling. I'm gonna give it a stir, mix everything together, give it a cover for five or six minutes more until my full kopi is completely cooked through. Check this out! Yeah, the water has gone down quite a lot. I've just given it a stir, and now I will give a little bit of freshly harvested curry leaves from my garden it adds a lot of flavor and if you add it like twice in the dish it's actually better okay I'm gonna take this out a little bit <laughs> give it a stir and voila your dish would be ready now when you have reached the desired consistency as well as the doneness of the vegetable my vegetables are a little crunchy however uh, I like it this way itself they should all hold together their flavor and their a little bit of crunch I like it that way this is the time when I'm gonna give the last of the seasoning so I'm gonna switch off the flame because this kadhai though I'm able to touch it do not try is quite hot so I've switched off the flame now I'm gonna add some greenery like so there is one full green chili and some coriander I'm gonna give it a mix 
give it a cover and let it stand for two minutes and with that it's done two minutes covered beautifully mixed in the flavors have all mixed together i generally don't like to use uh, coriander leaves only for garnishing it has such a beautiful flavor it needs to get in together so in this mitti ki kadhai i have already finished cooking my full kopi curry pata diye and uh, it's one of my family's favorite of course i've added a pinch of sugar which i don't know if i showed on the camera but of course that's the bonus in me however this is a little bit of a mix between the east and the south where i'm living currently if you liked it please don't forget to give me a like let me know in a comment below what else do you want me to make in this kadhai which has a handle which is such a sweet handle and uh, yeah let me know